So have any of you had tea-based cocktails before? No, not before yet. Okay, so generally there is a sort of flavor combination of tea-based cocktails and fortified wines that has something like tannins in them. So if you drink black tea, uh, it tends to be quite dry, right? So this is actually generally quite good for cocktails that add a layer of complexity that you don't often get without using fortified wines like sherry, etc. So it gives us more flexibility when making non-alcoholic and alcoholic drinks, right? So it also allows us to kind of create an extra dimension. So whereas if you're just doing something like now, which is sugar, citrus, uh, spirits, shake it and go, you're getting two dimensions realistically. Do something like a daisy, which has a modifier in it, something like uh, cordial or an elixir, you get another dimension. Um, so, horse have it. <laughs> so, what we go for today is uh, you know five different drinks. Two of them are non-alcoholic, but I can make them alcoholic. Is everyone here drinking, or are some people not drinking? Sometimes yeah. I'd like to try the two non-alcoholic. Okay, great. Okay, cool. So we can make that work. Uh, great. Then I can get started. Um, so each one of these will be quite different. Um, the reason being is that each use a different base cordial, and some of them are homemade from Brazil's tea bags, and some of them are made from the elixir itself. So. Starting with something like uh, highball style. Okay. Starting with something like a highball style, uh, we have our, uh, this is a chamomile and ginger tea cordial that we've made here uh, with acid, so it basically allows us to not have to use too much citrus. In Singapore, we call it the boing or gelat, so this allows it to be a drier drink. Um, with very little to no sugar, um, which is another great thing about the elixirs. Uh, so this is like the base flavoring. It also means I can get away with not using ginger beer or ginger ale, which is really, really sweet. I could just use this and then soda. Um, so the base, oops, sorry, the base is the chamomile and ginger cordial. Then we've got a little bit of rum here, which is essentially for our alcoholic component. So it's going to be something similar to Dark and Stormy, as we'll see in a moment. There's a touch of lime. A little bit of lime in there. Okay. And this is something super simple that you can make at home as well, because in reality, we're just making like an Arnold Palmer style 50-50 iced tea in a way. Soda. What we're going to do is we're going to lift the ice to mix the soda in so it's busy. And, thank you. and then we're just going to crown it like this. And that's where we're going to float our bitters, which is going to make it more intense as well, a bit more aromatic. So, our bitters. All right. Also, looks pretty cool. Yes. Fresh mint. All right. Whenever you're making drinks at home, just remember to put your aromatics or your fragrant ingredients or garnishes next to the straw. So when your guests drink, they're smelling them in. Right. You don't have to use a lot. Some people use huge amounts. It's kind of a bit of a waste. Um, one spring will do, and it'll give it a, yet another sort of layer of flavor because when you taste, you don't just taste with your taste buds, you taste with your olfactory, which is from your nose. Um, all right. So, this one's alcoholic. This one, one's going over here, I think. This is alcoholic? This is, yeah, this is the uh, brightest one. Thank you. Yep, all good. Is that alcoholic? This one is, yes. This one is alcoholic. This one is. All right. Don't worry, I've got two non-alcoholics coming for you. All right, all right. <laughs> um, I can also make this one non-alcoholic. 